Hello viewers, this is Dr. Too Fast here. This morning I got into my Nissan Pathfinder, started the car, and it took a while to start. So I'm thinking maybe the car battery is dying. Now the battery came with a vehicle which is over four years old, so it's possible that I do need to replace it. Now in this video I'll show you the tool I used to test the car battery and the alternator and find out if I do need a new battery. So stay tuned. To determine if your battery need replacing, a battery tester like this, which is very inexpensive, can help you diagnose if the battery is good or bad. So let me show you how to use this. Pop open the hood. To use the tester, connect the negative lead to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the positive lead to the positive terminal of the car battery. The car battery will power this tester. I'll press OK. Select test, in vehicle, the battery is in vehicle. Select the charge, is this test done before the charge? Yes it is, okay. Select the battery type, regular flooded, okay. Cold cranking amp, CCA, okay. Now here you can enter the CCA of the car battery. On this original Nissan battery, if you look over here, it does tell you the CCA or cold cranking amp is 550. Okay, now it's testing. I'll zoom in so you can see the test result. SOH is a state of health of the battery is 20% only. SOC state of charge is 76%. The voltage of the battery is 12.46 volt. And the internal resistance is 12.04 milliohm. And the test result tells you it needs replacing. Now if I press OK, I can do a crank test. And this will test how well the battery can start the engine. I'll go in the vehicle and start it up. Here it tells you the cranking is low and the battery need replacing. I'll press OK. Next, it can test the charging system from the alternator. OK. Here, it tells you to increase the rev. I'll go in the car and rev the engine a little bit. And the test result for the charging system is good. Charging is normal. With loaded is 14.28 volt, no loaded 14.42 volt, and the ripple is normal. So now I know the battery is not good, but the alternator charging system is good. I want to quickly show you another battery tester I have. This one will do the same thing as a small unit here, but it has a built-in printer. So after you do the test, you can actually print this out. I'm here at Costco to get my new car battery. Now, if you don't mind replacing the battery yourself and you have a Costco membership, I highly recommend you get the new car battery from Costco. The battery they have is very high quality and they have the lowest price you'll find anywhere. Now, if you don't have a Costco membership or you don't want to change a battery yourself, then go check out the Walmart Everstart Max battery, which is also a very good quality battery and the price is very reasonable. I just picked up a new battery at Costco. This is the interstate battery. It cost me $79. I'm home now. Here's the battery. To replace the battery is not difficult at all. All you need is a 10 millimeter wrench. First, I'll remove the negative battery terminal. Loosen this 10 millimeter nuts. Next, I'll remove the positive terminal. It's also held in by a 10 millimeter nuts. Now you need to remove this battery clamp. It's held in by two 10 millimeter nuts right here. For this, I'll use a 10 millimeter deep socket.
Now on this Nissan, there's also a metal bracket right here you need to remove. Remove this 10 millimeter nut. And then remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Now lift up on this battery clamp. Now I can lift up this battery and take it out. Be careful, it's very heavy. You can lift up this tray and tap all the dirt out. While I'm here, I'm going to use my shop back and clean out any dirt, rocks, or leaves. Put the tray back in. So let's have a quick look at the old and new battery. The new one is the one on the left here, and the brand is Interstate Batteries. You can find these at Costco. Again, I bought this for $79. And there is a $15 core charge. And you have to pay that core charge when you buy this battery. How it works is after you replace a battery, take the old one back to Costco and they'll refund the $15. Now even though this brand is Interstate, both of these batteries are actually made by the same company. It used to be Johnson Controls, but a couple of years ago it was sold to another company and that company now makes all these batteries. Interestingly, another highly rated car battery is Walmart's EverStart battery. So if you don't want to replace a battery yourself and you don't mind paying an extra $20, $30, you can take your car to Walmart and have them replace it for you. Now one thing to consider is the warranty is a little different between Costco and Walmart. As you can see on this sticker, the Costco battery comes with a three-year warranty. And their warranty don't require that they test the battery to make sure it's failed before replacement. If this battery failed, just take the battery back and they'll give you a replacement. Now with a Walmart battery, their warranty is three years replacement and an additional two years prorated replacement. With that warranty, they do have to test it and confirm the battery have failed before they will replace it for you. And for the fourth and fifth year, they'll prorate the amount and give you some credit for the purchase of a new battery. Okay, back to replacing the battery on this Nissan Pathfinder. The size of the battery for this vehicle is group size 35. As you can see, the CCA or cold cranking app is 640, whereas the original Nissan battery is 550. So this has a higher cold cranking current for starting your vehicle. So let's put this battery in. Now before you install the bracket, make sure you put this insulator back on the battery. You might think the insulator is for protecting the battery in the winter, but it's actually the opposite. This insulator will protect the battery from heat when the engine bay gets really hot. So do not throw the insulator out, and if you actually did, you can buy another one and reinstall it. Now install the bracket. Reinstall this other bracket. Remove the plastic cover on the battery post. Reconnect the battery cable. And there's a negative battery terminal. Go into your vehicle, start it up, make sure it works. To show you the difference with a new battery, I'll do one more test. The cold cranking amp of this battery is 640. I'll set it to 640. As you can see, state of health, 100%. State of charge, 98%. Good battery. Since most car batteries will typically last about four to six years, this is why I recommend everybody should have one of these portable jump starter 
It's very compact. You can keep it in your trunk or in your glove box. And if you ever get into a situation where you have a dead battery and you're by yourself, you can quickly and safely jumpstart your vehicle in less than a minute. This way you don't have to find another vehicle with jumper cables and go through all the hassle of having that vehicle next to you and hooking up the cable to jumpstart your vehicle. So that's it. If your car battery is four to six years old and you're having problems starting the car, I hope this video was helpful in showing you what you need to do to troubleshoot the battery and also replace it with a new one. If you want to pick up one of these battery tester or a battery pack jump starter, I'll include those links below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.